Hello everybody, this is Tony from Kate's Crafty Closet and today I'm going to show you how I made these little thank you cards by using a background that they made that we made in a previous video which I will link at the end of this video so you can see how I made this background. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a top folding A2 size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half and you're going to score at the five and a half mark to create the top folding part. So you're going to need two of those because we're going to be able to make two cards out of this one background. So here's a background that we had created on a previous tips, tricks and techniques with T using washi tape. So that is the panel. And today I'm going to go ahead and use a die from Avery L that is called stitch borders and i went ahead and used this one here on the right to do that I'm using my vagabond and what we get is we get these two pieces right here and it has a little bit of a stitch mark out here on the edges so and you can cut it however you want to you can go lengthwise like this if you want to put on your card that way um, you can do smaller you can do larger it all depends on the look that you're going for it's like this is going to be like a a really clean and simple basically one layer card so we're going to go ahead back and grab our cardstock our base and all we're pretty much going to do is we're going to take some art glitter glue and take my pin out of this and i'm just going to apply it if you want to put dimensional foams on here you can but i chose not to do that today because i have a little bit of a trouble like adhesive grabbing so i'm going to go with the liquid so i'm just going to go ahead turn this sideways because it's easier for me to see and i'm going to do my best to butt it up against the ends of the cardstock and if i have to do a little bit of trimming after the fact that's okay because you just go in with your scissors so that's that's one card that we have so then we can go ahead and grab the other card and then we can just also grab our art glitter glue and add, put it on here and do the same thing that we did with the first one. I just like the fact that we, we get two cards out of this really simple, easy background to make. And if you don't have this type of washi, you can use any washi that you have on hand. It's like, it's completely whatever you have in your stash. So that is our two card fronts. Like I said, if you have to go back and trim, you can, but, that, but I'm not going to stress that part up oh, i have this stamp set from, i have this stamp set right here from my favorite things it's called uh you can give you give me butterflies and i have this thank you right here so i'm going ahead and use that thank you i already have it mounted on my my round acrylic block block and i'm just going to go ahead and use some versafine black onyx ink and get some ink on that thank you and because like in this area the curve is a little bit too wide for the cart i'm going to put the thank you down here at the bottom and so i like one about versifying is that it's pretty good for sentiments and stuff like that so there we have that one and next we're going to do is this one and this one I can put up here in the in the top center because there's a little bit more room. And there we have our thank you. And next thing we're going to go ahead and do is clean off the ink off of the stamp using some stamp cleaner that I get from Ink on 3. And the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is like I have these stone stickers. And all the products that I use today will be linked in the video description below so I kind of went ahead and trimmed off these where it's easy for me to peel them off and I'm just going to apply these little gemstones it's like I know we always say use threes but in this instance I'm not I'm going to do four because I just like the look of it going up the uh, stitched border so there we have that one and we can go ahead and do this one as well. And, and you can place them wherever you want to. Completely, completely up to you. 
but these little I like these little gems these are really kind of cool so and this pretty much this completes our cards for today like how quick simple and easy was that so um, like I said, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. And when the notification bell comes up, go ahead and click on that. And you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video to YouTube. And thank y'all again for joining me. And y'all have a crafty day, y'all.